Your talking videos that look like this could be a lot more interesting if you add camera movement in DaVinci Resolve. This is going to increase your audience retention and make your videos more entertaining and engaging. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. To get started, we're going to create a simple punch in effect like this. Select the clip you want to scale up. Click here to turn on the transform viewer overlay. Now move the anchor point to your eye line. Scale up your clip and you're done. And you'll notice it stays on your eye line, which is what we want. Okay, we're going to increase the complexity. This is level two. You're going to need something called the magic zoom tool. So go to Mr. Alex Tech on YouTube and you can download the tool for free. This is a must have tool for DaVinci Resolve. So go to his page, download the tool, open the DRFX file and install it into DaVinci Resolve. At this point, you can say goodbye to keyframes because you're going to have a lot of fun. Add an adjustment clip on top of your footage. Apply the magic zoom to your adjustment clip. Now select the fusion overlay and move the pivot point to your eye line to keep that zooming in and out consistent on your eye line, just like we did before. This will give a fantastic zoom that eases in and out without any keyframes. You can also create the same punch in effect with magic zoom by selecting hold and zoom out under your zoom type and set the zoom speed to zero. Now you can zoom in and out and you can also punch in and out of your shots. Okay, let's go to level three. We're gonna up the complexity one more level here. A lot of this is gonna be workflow related stuff so you can work faster. Okay, let's add some movement to our static shots with a slow push effect. We're gonna change the zoom type to standard and zoom scale to something like 0.1. I like to keep the push in relatively small because then I still have the option to punch in on top of that. And I'm gonna show you what I mean in a second. Now I like to use colors to keep track of the different types of camera moves that I've created. I've given hotkeys to the clip colors to quickly apply them. I'm using my F keys for my clip colors. So here we have blue for the zoom and hold, green for the push in, teal for the punch in. This is really great because now I can visually keep track of which camera moves are which. Now holding the alt key, I can click and duplicate these camera moves and quickly populate the timeline. I can even stack a punch in over a slow push in to give everything more movement and even glue those shots together. All right, well, I'd love to hear what you think of this workflow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.